was, well, we say it's reasonable. Now, why the disparity? You know, I had I looked at this and I'm like, what's going on here? And uh, the judge the judge said in the sentencing to Ross, you're no better than a, a, a drug dealer on the street. And Cody Wilson said, then why don't you sentence him as one then? But they made it clear why. They considered Silk Road politically dangerous, that I, and they had to make have an example. And Ross was their example. He's like the head on the spike on the um, medieval castle. You are going to get that if you use the internet in this way. Their words. She also brought up a lot of politics in the sentencing. She said she wasn't sure that Ross had abandoned his political beliefs, which were libertarian, by the way. Um, and that she um, thought he might still hold them, and she found them very dangerous. She referenced DPR's writings and the site's political philosophy as threatening. She said, the Silk Road's birth and its presence asserted that its creator, you, and its operator were better than the laws of this country, and there, were, there are posts which discuss the laws as the oppressor, and that each transaction is a victory over the oppressor. Please note, she doesn't say Ross authored those. They were on the site. She calls it deeply troubling and terribly misguided and also very dangerous. I would suggest that bolstering a life sentence with, with po political beliefs is troubling and dangerous. This woman took an oath to uphold the First Amendment, and that includes political thought and speech, and she used it instead to bolster this sentence. And as a lawyer, I know said, neither Thomas Jefferson nor James Madison would likely have fared well if brought before Judge Forrest because of their similarly dangerous views. I'm supposed to 